Sid. You are Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about. I wonder if you could help me. With what exactly? Oh, nothing too troublesome. Do you know my husband, Pavart? He's the village smith, among, among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making, so I wondered if you might collect some for me and give them to him. Uh, would this gift not be better coming from you? Perhaps, but it can't, for reasons I can't go into. Please, I know it sounds daft, but I'd be ever so grateful. Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabric so we we'll always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. Welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. It is. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Aren't they just? Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of Elder's blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werda wants you to bless her better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on, then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. An old fool Pavart may be, but if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. Um... Glad to hear it. Thank you. Well, that's two basketfuls. Time to visit Pavart. <sighs> what do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. I know you're there. H who? Me? <laughs> <clears throat> what 
either of you care to explain what's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. What with you being a swordsman like and him being the only smith in the village? It'd be a shame if you couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I had my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. I'm pretty much done with them now, though. But, for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. So, if there's out you need, just bring us the materials, all right? All right. All right, then. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. As modes of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern, too, was left by our ancestors. The Ceaseless Rill, it's called. It symbolizes the river of our tribe, with the strength of Leviathan running through it. And no matter how that river has ebbed and flowed, changed its course, the flowers have always been with us, growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. Oh, well. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Wasn't it just? What is it you want? Done. Till next time, then.